welcome to my ultra life. Today I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I'm about 12 miles from downtown. So I'm gonna try to run all the way past the Mall of America, uh, up maybe see part of the Mississippi River, and run through downtown Minneapolis and see the sights, and uh, hopefully learn a little bit about Minneapolis. So. Uh, it's mostly road all the way, but uh, hopefully we'll get to see some interesting parks and lakes and things like that. And uh, today it is about 78 degrees, and it's April Fool's Day. I think it's, the weather is fooling us because last year I was here in June, and it was snowing. I've never been to Minneapolis. I've been here several times for business. I've never been here when it's 78. It's always rainy or cold or frozen, so it's... Uh, it's quite a surprise to be here on a uh, hot and windy April 1st. Well, I've ran to the Mall of America. It's, uh, it's back there somewhere. It looks like a new hotel. Uh, Mall of America, I think it opened in 1992. And it was the largest Mall of America then. And since that time, it's doubled its square footage to 5.2 million square feet. So uh, may not look big from this angle, but it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big deal here in Minneapolis. Well, once you get a little ways from uh, all of America, it's pretty uh, suburban. To buy a house in this area, you can uh, it's just a few miles from downtown. It's about 150 to 200 thousand dollars. So if you're uh, getting tired of the expensive housing in your city may be considered Minneapolis. Well, I'm standing in, uh, in front of Lake Nokomis, one of literally hundreds of lakes here in Minneapolis. In fact, the name of the town, Minneapolis, comes from the Indian word M-N-I, water, Min, water, and Apolis, which is the Greek word for city. So Minneapolis is the city of water, and uh, Minnesota is, a, is the state of 10,000 lakes. So this is the city of water. So, uh, welcome to Minneapolis. And Almost at the nine mile mark. Oh, I'm kind of tired. I don't know if it's the heat or the wind or I don't know what excuse I could use, but uh, about three miles to go. So I just gotta keep pushing on. At least the wind is at my back most of the time. So it kind of helps push me along. Maybe it's not a good idea to fly across the country, get off the plane, and start running. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Ah, downtown Minneapolis, not far away. This is what I've been running for. This is what I've been wanting to see. Just a bit further. interesting uh, running through a city you go through different stages and uh, in the beginning you know Mall of America the airport and then this quiet suburban residential area which then became lots of uh, Hispanic or Mexican um, restaurants and and stores and then I went through a black area which was a little bit, you know, it was not the best area. And then interestingly, as you get closer to town, it's a Muslim area and some of the Muslims are black, but, uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a nicer area. I don't know if it's because uh, it's closer to the city or what, but it's just interesting. Uh, I, I read that Minneapolis was primarily a white city where a lot of the Northern cities uh, had a lot of black people 
uh, but it was mostly a white city uh, through the 1900s and now it seems to be very much uh, fully uh, integrated and, and diverse and just interesting going from classic American mall to the Hispanic area to black to Muslim uh, to the inner city so just a curious observation Well, I've made it to downtown Minneapolis, and I'm standing over the Grand Old Mississippi River, 12.6 miles from my hotel, and uh, have downtown Minneapolis behind me there, and the river, and this waterfall behind me really helped create Minneapolis uh, to become a thriving economic uh, com hub of commerce. Minneapolis was incorporated in 1867, and they used this waterfall to power wheat mills and flour mills. Uh, you might have heard of General Mills and Pillsbury. Uh, they both were here, and they were competing against each other very uh, fervently, stealing employees from each other to refine their uh, better flour milling skills and technology. And uh, lots of big companies here in Minneapolis. Uh, I'll be visiting Best Buy tomorrow. Target is uh, based here, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank Corps. There's five Fortune 500 companies based here in Minneapolis. Uh, the city itself is 400,000 people, and with St. Paul, the sister city, uh, the great area is about 3.8 million people. So Minneapolis is really a, uh, a global, global hub of commerce and activity uh, for the last uh, almost 150 years. So obviously the, the Mississippi uh, helped create a transportation hub, but also Minneapolis took off once the uh, railroad from Minneapolis to Chicago was built, and that really was a boom to commerce and economic activity. So uh, Minneapolis itself is the 46th largest city in the U.S., but I think the area is like fifth overall uh, in, in big thriving economy and lots of construction going on uh, surprised to see lots of uh, old uh, mills and factories converted into uh, lofts and apartments and condos so it looks like uh, Minneapolis is doing well and uh, I'm standing on the stone arch bridge it was constructed in 1882 as a railroad bridge but now is uh, primarily just for walkers and bikers and runners and just to enjoy so i'm glad i made it a long uh it's a little bit slow but a long 12 mile run i've had an ultra lifetime and i hope you have an ultra life too